Living in Albuquerque and the surrounding area is just beautiful. There's mountains, tons of state parks. The sunsets are amazing. It's nature at its finest. I love it here. It's really nice. The weather is always perfect. I met Cindy at work, and she always makes fun of me because I sent her an email. That's how I asked her out. I love this view. One of these days, maybe we'll see a porcupine out here. I'm from Minnesota. I fell in love with it the first time I came to, to visit. It's really different here. When Cindy was a kid, she was a big city kid, and uh, they didn't have a whole lot growing up. Shortly after I was born, um, my mother was diagnosed with schizophrenia. She actually raised me as a single mother, and I really can't imagine what that must have been like for her. She worked really hard for not very much, but we always had what we needed. We didn't have a lot, and consequently, we never had a house. Um, we lived in an apartment. Growing up, she used to say, Mommy, I'm going to get a house someday. <laughs> because she wanted the yard and the house. So I, I wanted that for Cindy. My daughter's my whole life. <laughs> In our old home, we basically did the yard ourselves and we don't want to do that this time. We want it done professionally. I'm just waiting for this dirt to be covered. <laughs> <laughs> and no hard. more weeds. I'm really looking forward to just having, you know, some greenery. <laughs> I'm watching weeds die, basically of natural causes. It'll be really great because your mom's gonna be able to see the orchard and all the trees that are over here. We're gonna have the apple tree and a pear tree, and maybe a cherry tree. I want it to be beautiful and cohesive and look like one design. Mom is gonna love the fruit. I think that's gonna be probably her favorite thing about the whole project. I had my mother-in-law's house, we had our house, and we decided we wanted her to move in with us, and uh, we were able to combine our houses. She didn't want to live alone anymore. And so this is our new bigger home and she has a separate living area. And this yard, which we didn't have when I was young. So I'm really happy that we can enjoy those things in her, her golden years. In our old house, we spent a lot of time in our yard. So I found this photo on House. It's a sanctuary for me, it's a sanctuary for the family. It feels like an oasis, and it feels like a place I want to be. We wanted the same kind of feeling in this new yard, except we wanted to kind of take it up a notch. I like the, uh, the grill, I like the lanterns. We wanted a landscaper, and we wanted it to be professionally designed. I've got a question here, you've got, this is a six foot trellis here. Finding a professional to do this job, was a little bit daunting of a task. And to be able to go to house makes it so easy to narrow down your choices. When I found Solange, I saw her work and I just oh, fell in love with it. One. They know exactly what they want. It's a dream couple to work with. We want to do something like that. Oh, yeah. That's um, nice. Little healing garden versus this healing garden here. We were saying the touching, the smelling. They want an outdoor living space. They want to increase their connection with nature. That is exactly what we want to work on. Hey guys, you look so cute there. Oh. <laughs> we're going to have some elevations in the yard. Uh, we have terrific views of the Sandia Mountains, and I'm really excited about that. Solange is really passionate about what she does. I'm going to come from these four chairs and a sun and to this amazing oasis. From stargazing at night to smelling flowers during the day. I can't wait to start. I can, I can almost picture it from your drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Using Howls, it actually made everything easier. They have idea books. You can add products that you like. You can add different collaborators to it. So I could add my husband David to it, our designer Solange to it. I've been shopping on Howls, and I think I found something. We can look at this coffee table. Yeah, I love that. And it's not only a coffee table, but look at this. Oh, it's a fire pit. That is awesome. I love that. It's perfect. I think we should buy it. OK. And what about these big items? Are you ready for that? We kind of hope to have like an outdoor kitchen. Well, I don't think at this point we are. This isn't really in our budget. Maybe we'll have to wait a little bit more down the road and maybe it's phase two. <laughs> David and I have uh, been working on this surprise for Cindy and her mom. Every summer we used to go back to New Jersey because that's where I come from. We used to have barbecues. It was nice. I'd like to have a barbecue. <laughs> We're going to put in an actual outdoor kitchen out here. That trellis on the back, 
and we know that trellis is about six feet tall. Remember we were discussing that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's perfect. That house already goes away. We're midway through the project. We've uh, got a lot of the hardscapes in already. We've got uh, our paver patio built. We've got kind of our wall sitting area, water features. I know, it's beautiful. I love it. I, I like the little sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this project was really about Cindy and her mom. That's a great plant because it just keeps flowering. My mom has been really excited with the progress in the backyard. She is out there all the time and every day it's like a new excitement. She sees something new that's been done. Oh, it's beautiful. The, the uh, patio is gorgeous. They finished it. There was something beautiful in this mom, and she was excited the day the plants were coming in. Where that flag is, there's going to be a tree. Yes. It's not ready, and she's already engaging with the outdoors amazingly. It's a really healing garden. Every night, I, I go out there after dinner, and I sit there. It's beautiful. I'm really starting to see the vision the finished vision. I'm really excited about our trellis. I love the steel work, the welding that's gone into it. The patio is down. Our outdoor kitchen, of course, Cindy doesn't know about that. All the boxes have been arriving from a house that we've ordered, and it's been really tough keeping Cindy out of the garage because it's full of boxes. But I let her know that I ordered some more cabinets for the garage, but in reality, this is the outdoor kitchen. It's a huge patio. I don't know what we're gonna do with all that space exactly. This is a big surprise for Cindy and her mom. So I have another surprise. I found this rug. One of the things I was having trouble visualizing was things like carpets and pots. Using the 3D app from House, we were able to see it before we ever purchased it. It helped me make better decisions. See what you think about that. We can move it around and uh, view it. I think it's perfect. One of the things we usually do in our semi-arid environment is try to create path, destination, shade, water, and gray elements. When all came together, it's a confluence point. Then we have a confluence point and a destination there. Then when you get here, you're gonna have all the sandias view. The outdoor dining, the dining al fresco. Here we're gonna have some furniture here. We're gonna have some fire pit. This is the outdoor room. We have the native creek. If you can see, we have the native agaves. We want everything low because that view is magnificent. We have a great, amazing edible green wall. That will be an outdoor kitchen. We are living the outdoor kitchen for the last. We keep working on having the backdrop ready for it. The hardscape, the planting, the elements, and the beauty. Our outdoor kitchen, it's been a really interesting process. Not only getting the stuff in, uh, getting designed the outside room, but also uh, keep some secrets, uh, which is always fun to do. I know Cindy is not going to believe it. <laughs> not going to believe it. I'm really glad that I, I sent Cindy and her mom off to Santa Fe. I think David and Solange were supposed to be finishing up the yard. I was a little worried they were gonna walk in while I was putting it together. So maybe it'll be done when oh, we get okay. home. All right, so you guys were gone. I did a little something. What? Oh, oh my oh, gosh. gosh, look at that. It's gorgeous. What? You did this? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, very nice. I cannot believe you kept that a secret from me. <laughs> How did you do that? Mwah. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God. That's awesome. Oh, and oh. that too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the rug. Oh. Oh wow. What a good job you did. <laughs> well, I can't believe Solange that. helped a little bit she here too. She guided you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe all of this really just came from one inspirational photo on house. Our house is Spanish colonial, and so that's the feel we tried to, to, try to emulate. Solange helped us, and she was able to use house and, and the images and the ideas and make her design from it. And it's just perfect. That's a fire pit? Yep. Yeah. I really like the outside room that we did. It literally looks like a living room. I mean, you know, the table is nice. It, it'll look nice year round. The carpet that I picked out, I, I think it looks great. I can't believe how nice it turned out. Pretty you good. did such a good job. <laughs> Cindy, I like this. Hummingbird. I know. That is my favorite. 
Oh, it's all comfortable. Oh yeah, it is comfortable. It's pretty amazing. We started with dirt and just sand and dirt. And to go from that to what we have today, I can't believe it. They finished all the rock stuff here, all the lavender, and I love this lavender. I know, it smells, it so smells good. amazing. The salon created this healing garden back here, and I think my mom is really going to love it, and I think she's gonna really enjoy sitting out here. It's 88. 88, that's how okay. you're in. Oh. And then if it gets warmer, this one will drop, and then oh, okay. whatever's at the top. I lived in an apartment my entire life until I got married to my husband, and so, the idea of having a yard or a garage or hanging Christmas lights on the house is just things that are really important to me. Now she's got this beautiful house and uh, with a beautiful with beautiful land, she can have barbecues. I'm just in awe. It's beautiful. I like, this is gonna be my seat. <laughs> this is your seat. I think she's gonna really enjoy sitting out here and you know, she likes to paint the plants and things that she sees and I think this is gonna be great for her. Mom, you gotta come see the apricot tree Solange put in. Oh, I love apricots. I know. I can have apricots? I know. We, yeah, we told her that you wanted one. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yes, it's gorgeous. I'm really excited about having Cindy and her mom out here enjoying what we've done. There's so many things you can do back here. We've got places where you can just sit and relax. There's the Agave Creek and all the, the dry riverbed. We've got places where you can sit with the family and entertain. The grill is probably one of my favorite things, of course. And this grill is really special. It's much bigger than anything I've ever had. It's really well built, so I'm, I'm excited about it. We've got about nine to 10 months worth of barbecue and weather. Um, and so, you know, uh, steaks, kebabs, whatever we can think of, we'll be grilling out there. David cooks, he cooks good. I'm Italian and I know good food. <laughs> the nice thing about living in the Southwest is we really do entertain outside year round. We'll be out here all the time. This is a day and night yard and, and we're, we're really, we, we've got fire and water. We have water features, we have fire features, we have, uh, we have torches, we've got lanterns, we've got a fire pit and a fire table. We are gonna light a campfire and we are gonna look at the stars and we are really gonna enjoy it. It's all about family and, and bringing family together and, and, that, and that's what home is. Home sweet home means being close with the family and a good time. <laughs>